Okay, so once you have um, a sound in and you want to bounce it, remember to set your locators up here. Because let's say I put an effect on this guy. Um, I'm going to open up the mixer, which is in Window under Mixer, or it's Command 2. I'm going to add an insert and add a delay. I'm going to use this thing called Delay Designer. It's pretty cool. It has a bunch of different presets that you can pick. Um, I'm just going to pick one of the patterns. It's not necessarily what I'd want to put on a drum loop, but just to show you that um, you have to set the locators to where the end of the... Uh, when you're not hearing any sound is when you want to set your last locator. Because even though your sound file might stop, uh, at a certain point your effects might keep going after the sound files over so I'm gonna pick um, melodic patterns doesn't really matter warp delays let's do warp delays impulse sweeping yeah this is gonna be wacky So, so the sound really doesn't stop until, until like um, measure three. I'm actually going to change it over here to time because that's what we're going to be dealing with when we make our pieces. So, so it finishes about four and a half seconds. So five is plenty. Let's say I add a reverb to it too. So back to our mixer, I'm going to add a reverb. Space Designer is a better reverb than the one we've been using. And you can pick large spaces, medium, small, surround, HD. You don't need either HD or surround. You could do medium, outdoor spaces. This is in seconds how long the delay lasts, or we could do large outdoor spaces, and you can see up to like 10 seconds of reverb, which is huge. Like soccer field, let's try that, or big cave, whatever. And we have our wet and our dry here. So our dry sound, and our rever uh, reverberated sound, it's hard to say sometimes. So, so uh, I'm going to turn the dry. We'll keep it where it is actually and we're just going to see what it sounds like. Well just to prove a point, I'm going to leave it. I don't like the way it sounds, but just to show you now. And it repeats because I moved it before it got through playing, but... That's about right. So if I want to get all that tail of the delays and the reverb, then I do have to make it that long. Okay. So once I've picked out how long I want to make my file, I bounce it. Output, I'm going to call it um, filtered drums reverb. I can add to my audio bin. I can add to my iTunes library. Um, I want to make it AIFF 16 bit and 44.1 for CD. You can change that to, um, you know, uh, make it for uh, media that'll play higher resolutions like DVDs, um, um, games, you know, anything like that. But um, for CD, it's got to be 16 bit 44.1. Interleaved, not split. And since we're starting off in 16 bit, we don't need any dithering. And you don't really, if, you don't, if you're not really sure about using dithering, you shouldn't use it. And if you are going to use it coming from 20, you need to only do it when you're coming from 24 bit 
you're going from a higher bit depth to a lower bit depth and you only need to do it one time and you can look in the logic manual to see what the th three types of dithering are they uh, react with your sound a little differently each one of them but I want to add it to the audio bin or I can add it to my iTunes library and immediately burn it from there I'm going to add to the bin you also want to make sure it's PCM you won't have these options if you change that but if you don't have those options that's why mode real time and offline uh, offline is fine you don't want to normalize and I'm clipping here so I should probably turn it down a little bit so I'm actually going to do that so now I want to play it back I don't want it to clip anymore still clipping see over here it's another thing. now neither here nor there are we clipping so once again long story longer bounce everything's the way it should be call it filtered drums uh, reverb and bounce quickly bounced now when we go to media there's our filter drums and reverb and drag it to a new uh, track new audio track and then just play it And what you can think about this for um, is you can make take like sound files of yours and process them these ways, bounce them down, and then combine them later to kind of make gestures out of it. And we'll talk about that in class. So see you next time.